This is a pan. And as you can see, it is clearly a very old and very well used pan. And today I'm gonna to show you how to clean this very dark, greasy, yucky gunk that is on the bottom of my pan. But first, if you're new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, we love to clean, organize, disinfect, and test things. And so if you are new here, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. For those of you who don't know, when I'm not making YouTube videos about cleaning, and when I'm not being mom, I am also a physician assistant. I'm gonna tell you something that I learned as a PA that will cut the cleaning time for this pan in half, and you are gonna be amazed. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, now Diana, what does medicine have to do with cleaning a pan? And that is a very good question and I'm gonna tell you right now. In medicine, when we are dealing with a skin condition and we prescribe a topical ointment or cream of some kind to apply to the skin, sometimes we recommend that they apply something called an occlusive dressing. Occlusive dressing just means something that is waterproof and non-breathable. So you apply your cream, you put an, an occlusive dressing on top of it, and it's gonna make that cream work better because it's not getting wiped off, it's not getting absorbed, it's just sitting right there on the skin doing the job that it's supposed to be doing. Now, when it comes to cleaning this pan, we are gonna do that same type of thing. We're gonna use, quote unquote, an occlusive dressing, and the occlusive dressing that we're gonna use today is plastic wrap. Let me show you how it's done. So here to demonstrate this, I have two more well-used pans. To clean it, we are going to use Easy Off. I always prefer the fume-free option if you have it. And I'm gonna spray one pan, this smaller one right here, with Easy Off. I'm gonna spray it really heavily because I like to have it fully coated and then I'm just gonna leave it. Here I have the second pan, equally as dirty, but we're gonna spray it heavily with Easy Off. Again, we're not gonna miss anything and we're gonna make sure it's well coated. And then here's the trick. We're gonna cover this second pan with plastic wrap. We're gonna make sure that every area that I want to be cleaned is covered with the plastic wrap and then we're gonna let this sit either overnight or eight hours. And then we'll come back and I'm gonna show you the difference. It's been eight hours and now we're gonna take a look at what we have here. Now if you look at the smaller pan that wasn't covered, check it out. The Easy Off has already dried and here's something that you need to know. Once it's dried, it's not really doing its job anymore. So even though that pan was sitting for eight hours, that Easy Off was only working really well during the time when it was still wet. Whereas with pan number two, when when we peel back the plastic wrap, look, the Easy Off is still wet, which means it is still doing its job even now. Now we're finally at the good part, and this is the part where you get to see how easily this pan will clean up because it had the plastic wrap on it. So we will cue the music and you can sit back and enjoy this incredibly satisfying clip of this pan getting cleaned. As you can see here, the pan where I just used Easy Off without the plastic wrap still comes clean it just takes a lot more scrubbing now while i was cleaning i chose to use steel wool as my scrubber on the bottom of the pan and it definitely made the cleaning job easier on the sides of my pan i used a regular sponge to clean as much off as I could. And as you can see here, quite a bit did come off just with a sponge. For the tougher spots that wouldn't come off with the sponge, I did go ahead and use the steel wool. Now keep in mind, steel wool is very abrasive and can scratch. So before using steel wool on the sides of your pan, I recommend that you test it in an inconspicuous area to make sure that it won't scratch. Now, even if it does scratch, you might choose to use it anyways, because some of you might feel like that the barely visible light scratches look a ton better than the dark, burnt on messes, that is entirely up to you. But just be aware, it can not scratch. It's what I'm choosing to use for my pans. You choose what you wanna use for your pans. Once you're done scrubbing, go ahead and rinse everything off. And then I like to wash it one more time with dish soap. Here I'm using Dawn Platinum Power Wash, which I think is superior to regular Dawn, but you use whatever you have on hand. And now for the final reveal, look how amazing this pan looks. I'm gonna show you a before picture so you can remember how awful it was before. And now look at how amazing it looks now. I did not do a lot of scrubbing as you saw in the video and I am so pleased with how well this looks.
So now you can see how much better your Easy Off will work if you cover it with plastic wrap before you let it sit. Just as a side note though, if you have a prescription cream that you're now thinking you wanna put an occlusive dressing over, don't do it without the advice of your own PA or doctor. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And hey, if you know somebody who has dirty pans, which dirty pan bottoms, which is basically gonna be anybody who cooks, share this video with them. If you like this method, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have other amazing tricks or hacks to clean your pan, put that in the comment section below. You guys always have tons of great ideas for us and also for our other viewers. Make sure you hit subscribe. If you are new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Up next, I'm gonna put the link to our video on how I cleaned the greasiest, dirtiest oven top I have ever seen. This oven top had 10 years of built up pork chop grease on it and I cleaned it with just one ingredient and yes, my plastic wrap as well. But I'm gonna put that right here, click on that video and I will see you over there.